What's going on world? Aaron Raglan back again for another one. Today I am giving five tips to keep yourself motivated as a music producer in 2020. To stay motivated as a music producer, the first thing you should ask yourself is, do you have a passion for music? A passion is when you experience an undeniable love and joy for and when you do a certain thing or activity. If you are truly, and I mean truly passionate about something, you should be able to do that very thing every single day for hours without getting tired. When I first started making music, I thought it was a hobby because my mind was so focused on sports. As time went on, I realized that music was a passion. There would even be times in high school and even now where I would just wake up and I'd start immediately playing on the keyboard without even eating. The reason you want to be really passionate about making music is because the odds of making it is 100,000 to one or even slimmer than that. The second thing you want to ask yourself is, do you believe in yourself? In life, a lot of people have heard the expression, we can be our own worst critic. Now, somebody listening to this video may have had somebody already comment on one of their beats and say, man, this kick, this bass, these strings, these orchestra hits don't go together. This beat is whack, man. What is this person doing producing? Or you might say that. Instead of focusing on all those crazy critical voices of other people or even yourself, why not ask, what sort of compliments can I give myself right now? What are my strengths? Maybe I'm good at drums or main melody, creating hooks, creating lyrics that go along with the beat. Figure out what your particular niche is and build off that. Some people are really afraid to share their music. Some people say, oh man, my music and my beats will never be like Timberland, Metro Boomin, Pharrell, and all these other producers. If you haven't been making music that long, stop being so hard on yourself. Even if you have been making music for some time now, you got to understand that everybody is at a different level. If you're nervous about letting people hear your beats, maybe you could start out small. Get a friend, family member, whoever you feel comfortable with, and then eventually work your way up to more and more listeners. If nobody hears anything, how are you going to make it as a producer? Number three. How do you deal with artists, record labels, music license companies, and other people rejecting your music? This one definitely goes along with believing in yourself too. Everybody has to really learn to see the uniqueness in them. Every single person on this planet is different. And that's what makes it a really, really nice place to be in. No matter what you make, how bad or good you think the beat or whatever type of music you're making, not everybody's going to like it because we are all different. Well, this one time I watched the video of Jay-Z and Timbaland in the studio on YouTube. And I think this might have been part of the Fade to Black movie. Timbaland shows him about four beats and tells Jay-Z he can have his pick. Out of those four beats, Jay-Z only picked one. And that was Dirt Off Your Shoulder. Think about how some people may respond to somebody not choosing their other beats or maybe not even choosing them at all. Some people might get discouraged and say, ah, oh, man, this artist doesn't want to work with me. Now I'm not getting anywhere. Stop right now if you are thinking that. Timbaland did not get upset that Jay-Z didn't touch any of his other three beats. Those other three beats went to other very good artists. One beat was the instrumental for a Potion that went to the artist Ludacris. Another beat went to Brandy. And I forgot what the third beat was for, but producers, one beat is not going to make or break your career. Although this is about music producers, there are so many different bands and artists that failed at first and then were successful later. 
Madonna, The Beatles, Lady Gaga, 2 Chains, Kanye West, and there are so many others who were told no by record labels. Look at where they're at now. Number four, are you afraid you can't promote or distribute your music without a record label? There are so many more things you could do now in 2020 than you could do some decades ago. You've got YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, SoundCloud. It's very basic places where you can upload your music and share to people. You have Reverb Nation. Reverb Nation is like a social media on steroids for musicians where you could upload your work, put together a profile, get fans, network with other musicians. For a monthly subscription, you could get your music placed on the radio, get signed with labels, and there are so many other opportunities. Music X-Ray and Taxi are designed for A&R representatives to look at multiple artists, songwriters, music producers, and get their music placed on TV, movies, and radio, along with other places as well. Distro Kid is a platform where you could upload your music and get them across so many more other internet music streaming and distribution sites. You pay $20 for the year and you could upload as much music as you want. That's a dream. I'm telling y'all. Lastly, you have this site called CD Baby. In addition to streaming sites, you also can have physical copies of your music distributed all across the world. After you use those platforms, you could use YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook to promote yourself with paid ads or just uploading and being consistent. Number Five, do you feel like you've reached a little bit of success as a music producer and are you complacent where you are right now? Keep pushing. There are way too many music producers out there for you to sit around and do nothing about it. Learn an instrument. Keep studying music theory. Without music theory, you're not going to know the basic music fundamentals to create a nice melody. And the most obvious thing to do is just continue to create music with the whole world stuck in quarantine. So much time on our hands. There is no excuse. Watch other producers. The more you watch other producers, the more you learn. With YouTube, the internet in general, use some of their tips and tricks and to make your production even better. Alright y'all, that was my time for today. Hope y'all got something out of this video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, and peace.